and sharing her dreams in these videos with the confidence at times of a celebrity letting other people into her world no holds barred and to some Facebook friends that was a good sign because Shanann was not always that confident and how do we know that because Shanann's teachers knew her when and Matt Francis was Shanann's theater teacher at Pinecrest High School, and he's kind enough to join us now. Matt, thank you for being with us. And first and foremost, I'm very sorry for your loss. You weren't just her, her ninth grade teacher. You became a very close friend of hers. You continued a friendship with her right up until, as I understand it, I think two weeks before she died, you last communicated with her, right? Yes, that's correct. Yep, I found out... Um yeah, I found out kind of late too, but yeah, we, um, she was doing a convention over there and I was just so impressed with uh, her doing Facebook Live and the way she did it and the way she does, had become such an encourager. Um, I just gave her a, a big, how much I'm proud of her on the Facebook Live message. And she wasn't um, like that. When, when, you, um, when you were her teacher at 14 years old, you described a very different person. Who was she then? Yes. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yes, you'd be amazed at how far she's come. She's a, she's a wonderful, beautiful human being who uh, learned that the power of giving your life away, I think, uh, brings true joy. Uh, she was a very insecure young lady who didn't have a lot of friends when I met her at 14 years old. Um, but she was brave enough to sign up for beginning acting, and I think that's where uh, she made a big mistake. <laughs> well, tell me first. about that. Well, well we had... Um, a lot of kids took theater in ninth grade, so we had about 35 to 40 kids in her class. Um, they did that to me twice at Pinecrest, and I didn't mind at all because I had a, a great um, technique for working with that many kids. But right away when she got in there, she realized immediately that um, we are all about ensemble. I even made sure people understood I wasn't the most important person in the room. Um, the ensemble is the most important thing, and looking at other people um, as bigger than yourself is how you can succeed in theater, no matter whether it's on tech crew or it's on um, in the acting side. So I'm, even to this day, um, when I teach film acting, it's, it's all about the ensemble. People actually have to sign a contract. So when she came in, she realized um, she was with a group of people that were much more outgoing than she was at the time, but she also realized that um, they cared about her and were just as interested in her succeeding. Um, so she, I think she started to really thrive and started to even give her life away and started to uh, I'm very improvisational based, so she even started contributing in the improvs. And um, it's funny that I think you know it it's, the person yeah. you're describing. It's it's so different than the than the person who we see on Facebook. I mean, she just seemed so confident, and yet you say she spent a lot of time in your office looking for advice. She was teased a lot. She had a low self image. Um, yes, did, her, did you, her self esteem was low. She did not have a good self image of herself at 14 years old. And I want to make it very clear. Like I don't take. I don't take any credit for it at all. All I did, all I did was really heard Shanna Ann, and I joked with her all the time. Her name was, you know, Shanna Ann. The, the reason we found out about you um, at all was because you found something after you attended her funeral. Um, you were moving, and when we move, we find all sorts of stuff from our past, you know, tucked away in nooks and crannies in our homes, and you found a letter that, that Shanna Ann had written to you fairly recently. Um, and I just want, if I can, I just want to, actually, when I say fairly recently, I think it was as you were leaving Pinecrest in 2002. So I want to read for our viewers what the letter said. And I think we even have a picture of um, what the, the card and the note and the signature uh, looks like. You, you had posted it on Facebook. Let's pop that up on the air. And I'm going to read some of the things that she wrote to you. I just wanted you to know that I am going to miss you dearly. You are truly something special to me. You have always been there for me and have been very helpful. You helped bring out the true person in me back in ninth grade, and I can't thank you enough for that. Not only have you been there for me as a friend, but you have also been like a father figure to me. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for being a wonderful teacher 
And friend, I will never forget you. Love always. When, when you found that, Matt, what, what happened? What happened? What, what did you think? Well, there's, there's a lot to it. I mean, uh, the Shanna Ann that we just described in ninth grade and the Shanna Ann that she became before I left, she became a rock for me. Um, she learned that giving her life away meant so much more, and she became like a stage manager and a production person. Um, Adam Goodrum was our tech director, and she was always there to help with the tech crew, but she'd also work amazingly with the actors. She just learned, um, she learned, she had a level of empathy like a lot of people today just don't. So to, to find out that this happened to her, I mean, I'm still, I still don't believe it's true. It's so mind-boggling because she's really truly one of the good ones one of the amazing ones who really saw hurting people out there um so when i found that i i thought it was such a gift because i had just come back from the funeral and they they had the three caskets there and it was so hard um to see someone that, that was just that amazing to someone could do that and, and on top of it as a father and a husband someone who would betray that trust um, to protect those little babies and that and that wife and to see it happen to her of all people uh, so there was two layers to it but one was the funeral which was very hard um, then coming home and just clean out the garage honestly I was not looking for it um, I just found this thing and it was all these this huge card from my one of my classes and then there was this little card from Shanna Ann, um, and it was one of the first things that I opened and read. I just, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was such a treasure, and uh, it just reminded me of how far she'd come. And my hope is, honestly, I love what the family's doing, and I want to make sure we highlight that. Um, shine like Shanna Ann. Hashtag shine like Shanna Ann, because that woman, in her light and legacy, she did enough in her short amount of time to affect people's lives for a long time to come, I think. Um, and that's what it reminded me of, and that's why I posted it. Um, honestly, I know there's people out there that think I was trying to get, I, I had no intention of you guys interviewing me. My goal was to, to put it out there to some of her former classmates and say, hey, guys, we now get to hold her light and legacy. You know, we can't ever forget who this person was um, and, and help encourage them to be a part of that. So it was well, twofold. You know, without question, um, I, I think a lot of people agree with you uh, who never knew her um, and just started to get to know her just through her Facebook videos and sadly posthumously because they might not have been drawn to this person but for seeing this on television or in their newspapers. And so the fact that you uh, pay such tribute to her the way you do, um, I think it's very special, Matt, and I thank you very much. I know this isn't easy to do, and I, I know you probably didn't want to, but I do appreciate mm. you telling us a little bit more about can this just, person. She's not just a can victim. I, she, can I ask just yeah. one more quick thing? Are we pushed? Yeah. Um, I want justice like everybody else for this, this person that killed her. I want the family to have justice. He needs justice. But I also want to make sure that we say, we got to get better as a culture of seeing hurting people because that's how we avoid things from like this happening. Sometimes we got to interrupt our life and go outside of our comfort zone like Shanna Ann did all the time. She ran her, surrounded herself with people sometimes that just needed encouragement. Um, and she saw hurting people. So if anything that I could encourage people to be part of when it comes to Shanna Ann, please, you know, see those hurting people out there and try to try to just go out and reach out to them and just listen to them for a minute but to try and avoid things like this happening with people. I agree. I think you're right. And I think online people are hurting people as well in this story. I think you're absolutely you have experienced that firsthand. And again, thank you, Matt. Um, I wish we could have met under different circumstances. I wish you were my teacher. You seem like a really great guy. Matt Francis, Shanann's ninth grade theater teacher.